Mendelian principles. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to describe the Mendelian principles. Every living organism on this earth can reproduce. It is a known fact that each one produces offspring of its own kind. Cat produces kittens, cow produces calves, and pig produces piglets, and so on. However, the offspring may express various similarities and variations in their characteristics. You might have heard people saying, You have a lengthy hair like your mother, your eyes are just like your father, and so on. What could be the reason behind these similarities? This is because of the dominant characters of the parents being expressed in the offspring. Gregor Mendel, the father of genetics, observed such similarities and variations in 29,000 pea plants during 1856 to 1863. His seven-year efforts were responsible for the emergence of the fundamental laws of heredity, otherwise known as the Mendel's Law of Inheritance. Now, let us discuss Mendel's Law of Inheritance in detail. Mendel selectively crossbred pea plants over generations and discovered that certain characteristic traits appear in the offspring without any blending of parent characteristics. To explain this concept, Mendel crossbred two different pea plants, that is, one bearing white flowers and the other bearing purple flowers. The resulting offspring produce either white flowers or purple flowers. However, flowers of intermediate color never appeared in any of the generations. Further, Mendel also observed seven distinct traits that apparently appeared only in one of the two forms. They include flower color, purple or white, pea color, yellow or green, pea texture, round or wrinkled, Flower position, terminal or axial. Plant height, tall or short. Pot color, yellow or green. And pot texture, inflated or constricted. The reasons why Mendel chose pea plant for his experimentations include Pea plants can easily be grown in large numbers. It has both male and female reproductive organs. It can either be self-pollinated or cross-pollinated. The reproduction of the plants can easily be manipulated. Mendel selectively cross-pollinated purebred pea plants and observed the outcomes over generations. When pea plants with green or yellow seeds were cross-pollinated, the F1 generations produced only yellow seeds. Whereas the F2 generation produced both yellow and green seeds in the ratio of 3 is to 1. Mendel observed that this 3 is to 1 ratio was able to sustain over generations. He also discovered that the parent plants were homozygous with respect to seed color. In other words, they consist of two identical alleles, that is, two yellow and two green colored seeds. On the other hand, the F1 generations were heterozygous as they inherited a different allele from each parent. With respect to the seven traits that were observed in the pea plants, he discovered that one form of allele was dominant over the other. For example, seed color allele. However, the dominant allele of one form does not affect the recessive allele by any ways. Instead, both the alleles are transferred to the next generation without any change. This formed the basis for generating the law of dominance which states that in a cross of parents that are pure for contrasting traits, only one form of the trait will appear in the next generation. Offspring with heterozygous trait will express only the dominant trait in the phenotype. Further, 
the law of dominance led to the evolution of the law of segregation and the law of independent assortment. Law of Segregation Mendel explained the law of segregation with the transfer of alleles from the parent to the F1 generation and F2 generation. An allele for a particular trait is transferred from each parent to the offspring wherein the type of allele to get transferred is decided by chance. After the discovery of meiosis process, the law of segregation was stated as during reproduction, the inherited alleles that determine the traits are separated into the reproductive cells by a process called meiosis and randomly reunite during fertilization. Law of Independent Assortment The characteristic of independent assortment was observed by Mendel using two traits of the pea plant. Mendel crossbred pea plants producing round and yellow seeds with the plants producing wrinkled and green seeds. In the F1 generation, he observed that the plants expressed only the dominant traits that is round and yellow seeds. While in the F2 generation, he was able to observe all the traits when the plants were self-pollinated. The ratio of the dominant and recessive traits in the F2 generation was 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1, that is, round yellow, round green, wrinkled yellow, wrinkled green. Thus, the law of independent assortment stated that genes located on different chromosomes will be inherited independently of each other. However, the law of independent assortment has its own exceptions when the genes are close or linked to each other on a chromosome. If the alleles are co-dominant, they don't follow Mendel's law of dominance. These three laws marked the beginning of the modern genetics. Summary Let us do a recap of what we have learnt. Law of dominance states that hybrids express dominant trait. Law of segregation states that each allele retains itself with distinct identity even though the alleles remain together. Law of independent assortment states that when two pairs of traits are combined in a hybrid, segregation of one pair of characters is independent of the other pair of characters.